Hello lovelykins, so I just need to point out a couple things before I get started. Sorry about the background noise, I have my ceiling fan on and my window is just a smidgen open because my mother refuses to turn on the air conditioning and it's like mid-June so just to understand my pain, it's really hot in here. So today's video is actually going to be a collab video with another YouTuber, my first collab video. This is the Summer Essentials 2014 video and I'm collabing with Bella Licious 101 here on YouTube. I will link it right here and below as well. So let's get started because I have a lot of stuff, okay? Alright, so the first thing for me, a primer. In the winter time, I'm more like combination, like oily slash normal skin, but in the winter, oh god, it is so oily on my face, so I need a primer. Um, this is just good if you're having a bad skin day and just want something on your face to kind of even everything out. This is the Aroma London Fix and Perfect Pro Primer in 002. Smooths, resurfaces, brightens, mattes, protects, 5-in-1. It is 30 milliliters, so it's a nice size. This is just essential, makes your makeup last longer. And if you don't want to wear any makeup, it's still good to kind of help your face look a little bit better than it really does. So I am wearing this underneath all my face today, so. Number two, a BB cream. This is the one by Garnier Skin Renew Miracle Skin Perfector for combination to oily skin in light medium. I'm not wearing this right now because the light medium one is still dark unless I have a tan, which I am not right now. You can probably tell this all-in-one BB cream claims to control shine, minimize pores, renews, brightens, hydrates, and evens. The only BB cream that I've ever tried, but I really, really do like it. I just wish that they had a light version. Number three is a translucent powder. I don't need any extra coverage really in the summertime, so I think that translucent powders are the best. I do have this translucent powder on my face today. This one is the Makeup Forever HD powder. Um, it's quite messy just because it is a loose form, but I think that translucent powders are really nice for the summertime because they still like mattify your skin and make your makeup last longer. Okay, so the blush. Well, not so much this blush, but just like the concept of this blush. I really like shimmery, iridescent blushes for the summertime, whether they're a color like this, like a peachy pink, or just a peach, or just a pink. Just the finish is what I'm more talking about. Um, even in the winter time, I'm still rocking blushes like this that have a shimmer to them. I just love the way that they look. Um, I am actually wearing this one on my cheeks today, just very, very lightly. It benefits Coralista, and it has a very interesting scent to it, which is kind of weird because, I don't know, but it's a good scent, don't worry, don't worry, but yeah, the finish of blushes like this are my favorite in the summertime and the wintertime and all year round because they're my favorite, but anyways, favorite uh, lip brand for the summertime are the Maybelline lip wait what are these called Maybelline color with purrs <laughs> the one I'm wearing right now is 95 mad for magenta I really like it because it like stains your lips it gives a nice wash of color to your lips same with all these I really like the formula of these, so depending on what color you pick from the line, they may or may not stay in your lips, but this one does, and I just like it because it lasts longer. If you have dry lips, I have dry lips, hopefully you can't tell, it just glides over them really smoothly, and it, just try one, okay, I promise, it's good. Product number six is my favorite mascara. 
to date which is the Maybelline New York Pumped Up Colossal Volume Express in black waterproof. I'm wearing it right now. This, this is actually a really great mascara. I do have a first impression on it, which I can link down below, but I really like it. So, try it. And waterproof is like a must in the summertime. I wear waterproof mascara all year round just because like allergies and stuff, my eyes get very watery. And even if I take like allergy medicine, like it, it doesn't work sometimes. So, need. Oh goodness. Product number seven is a highlight. Summertime is about the glow, the bronze, the this, the that. So a highlight is so necessary. This is the Benefit Sunbeam. It's like a liquid highlighter. My favorite highlighters are powder or liquid. They're just really easy to work with. I promise they come with a little brush on the end. You can either put it on the back of your hand and then dab it and then dab it on your face. I just take the brush and put it on my face. But so good. I'm wearing it today. Not sure if you can tell. But I would definitely repurchase this. It's probably my favorite highlighter right now. And it's so tiny. How cute. Product number no, 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 eight. 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 Product number eight is of course a setting spray. Makes your makeup last longer. This one is the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray Oil Control. I prefer the long lasting one. I'm not sure what that one's called right now, but this one is the one that I'm currently like working on, so that's why I have it out. But so necessary, especially for oily or combination skin girls best friend promise and then also for you combo oily skin girls and boys mm, need these are the clean and clear oil absorbing sheets instantly removes excess oil and they come in this like little book thingy and they're a blue little sheet but when you're like pressing it onto the skin and like around the t-zone and the cheeks area it turns like a translucent color so you can tell that oil is being removed from your face and then after that you're going to go back in with a powder to re- freshen everything up and make you look on point again. The next summer essential in my book is this really tiny and really cute Vaseline. My lips are already chapped and disgusting as is. The sun is already a very powerful thing and your lips are very very sensitive. The reason why they have a color to them and they're not skin tone color is because they have less skin on them. This is a must. This is the Vaseline Lip Butter Cocoa Butter. Alright, so now moving into nails. Not sure if you've been able to tell what my nails be looking like, but I'm going to talk about nails now. So these are my nails right now. So a summer essential for me is bright nails. If you're, woo, I'm gonna drop that one. If you're wondering, these are the three I'm wearing, all from the Claire's Neon Collection, and they don't have names. The second thing I really think is an essential for summer is ombre nails. So I have the pink, then the yellow, then the green. Has that ever happened to you guys when you're wearing really like bright colors and you're talking with your hands and then people like grab your hand and you're like, okay. Okay, so the last thing before I move on into my beach bag is this. And I'm not sure if you know what this is, 
but this is a deodorant so funny story I went to my doctor a while ago and I told him I was like my armpits literally sweat like a faucet what can I do and use so he was going on about oh yeah you can get surgery to like remove your sweat glands and you can get Botox to like fill them in and I was like no and then he was like okay or you can get this dry cell stuff which is what I did but it was weird so this is dry cell it has a scent when you're applying it it is like a full-on liquid it has like a medicated scent to it you just take a cotton ball squeeze it on and then dab it under your arm and it pretty much stops the sweat now for me I've tried a lot of deodorants on the market and none of them were doing anything for me this is 37.5 milliliters and it was really expensive actually for this little thing it was $25 so ooh. but it works really really well and it doesn't have a scent um, like what's it since on your underarm for like a minute be and I really like that just because if you're already wearing like a lotion and this that and the other then all of these scents are gonna mix in and make something weird so I like that it doesn't have a scent okay so this shirt I like to use as a beach cover-up it's from garage it looks like this and it has a little pocket right here and I like this shirt for a bathing suit cover-up just because it's one of those shirts that like doesn't stay where you want it to stay so sometimes it like shows a lot of cleavage but if you're already in a bathing suit and you're going swimming then that doesn't really bother me this is what I have in my hair today it's just a plastic headband so these I really enjoy because in the summertime it's hot and when you're like hot and sticky your hair like sticks to you and it feels disgusting trust me I know so I like don't want my bangs in my face 24 7 so throw one of these on and push it forward to give you a teeny bit of volume and you're good to go these are essential in my book stay over there Next, we all want that bronzy glow, but now that we're learning more about tanning beds and the sun and this and that, a lot of us are resorting to self-tanning. This is the one that I found that works the best for me and my sweatiness. This is the L'Oreal Paris Sublime Bronze Sun Splash Clear Self-Tanning Gel, Fresh Scent Anti-Streak in the shade medium so the self tanners that I've used before now those ones they develop after like four plus hours and then you have to go in the shower and rinse them off you don't have to go into the shower with this which I really like because I don't want to do that <laughs> so this you just put it on and you don't have to shower in four plus hours you just leave it on and go about your dang day so yay 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 but the biggest thing that I had with other self tanners is I've mentioned this I sweat real bad and in the places that I sweated it wouldn't stay on that place this doesn't sweat off but it does start to do that like the sweating thing but not the day after which I can appreciate so I will I would like to do a review on this so maybe I will if you guys are interested okay so speaking of the sun and soft tanners it's also really good to have sun protection so this is the L'Oreal Paris Ombre 60 SPF just for your face girls especially made for the face so this is face visage ultra light cream hypoallergenic fragrance free 
colorant free non comedogenic with antioxidants it is recognized by the Canadian Dermatology Association so I get pretty sunburnt on my face if I'm out and about with no makeup on or anything and especially in the summertime and after that happens like I get a lot of freckles or more freckles so SPF 60 girls this is a is a fantastic SPF 50 is pretty good 40 is good 30 is all right and then everything under 30 is like don't even bother seriously it's so pointless but this is amazing it's again specially made for the face if you are a face burner so amazing stuff amazing. so for the body this is a shimmer mist I'm not talking so much about the actual scent of this one this one is a warm vanilla sugar scent this one I find more like fall winter so ignore the scent of this I just mean for the actual shimmer mist it's so so pretty in the summertime plus you get a fragrancy mist next is something for the hair something that is going to help your hair because again the sun can be very damaging so just a little nice spritz of a healing oil is what i have here this is by macadamia and it's just the healing oil spray and it smells like almonds kind of i don't really know it smells like some nut but something like this is really good for the hair and the last thing the last thing is something to wash your face off after a long day of being out and sweating and having makeup on and swimming this one is by Garnier clean plus balancing gel exfoliator purify Tivo T-bone, purifies T-zone, plus softens dry areas. This is in grapefruit and pomegranate for combination skin. I really like this line so far. This is the only thing I've tried from this line, but I really like how this line has like two products for each skin type. So that's awesome. I really want to try some from the oily skin now that I'm more oily since it's summer, but yes. That is this Summer Essentials 2014 video. Again, this is a collab video with Bellalicious101 here on YouTube. Link below. So go watch hers. Tell her I sent you. And I hope that you all enjoyed. Have a good rest of the week. Subscribe to my channel. I also hope that you guys like my new banner. I made it myself and subscribe if you haven't. Toodles!